Hello my friends, how are you today? It is Lissa from Song of My Heart Studios. I am so excited to be here with you today showing you something I have been sitting on for a week waiting to get together with you guys. And today's the day we are finally going to do this technique together um, in my little studio. So I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I do want to start by saying I've been cleaning stamps, so my fingers look atrocious, <laughs> especially this one, which somehow got dipped in the uh, Blackberry Bliss ink pad, which if you've tried Blackberry Bliss, you know that ink does not come off for love nor money, and my finger is going to be that color for several days. So I've tried all my tricks like hand sanitizer and lotion and shampooing my hair, and it is it's in there good so just know that my hands are clean okay <laughs> all right well I have several things to show you today so this one might be a little bit longer than normal but um, I shared these ideas with my demonstrator team last Monday and they really liked it so I had the best of intentions of turning around and sharing it with you immediately that same night and yeah that didn't happen so here we go we do have um, cards to share so I don't have any Halloween sets and I needed a Halloween card so um, we're gonna make this with no Halloween stamps that'll be fun we're going to talk about how to turn line art images which by line art I mean um, sets like this where you need to color them we're gonna talk about how to turn line art images into silhouette stamps so you're getting instantly twice the twice the stamping power with your sets and then we're going to talk about how to get that same silhouette look using die cuts so fun stuff but let's start with this one right this is the simplest of today's projects so we'll begin there um, I did want to say too before we start and I'll try to remember afterwards that um, there's a huge stamp sale going on today and the stamp sets that we're going to use today nature's harvest and flowers of friendship are both on sale um what it is is our cling rubber stamps are on sale the ones that are red rubber but they cling to the block and um those are all on sale so the photopolymer ones are not on sale so you might want to go through your wish list and see which ones come in cling rubber and snag some of those today because they are um, on sale for 24 hours only so, and we're already halfway through. Oh my, so they're on sale for the next 12 hours. Okay, so we are going to start with very vanilla cardstock. And my piece is five and a quarter by three inches. And the color I'm using is crushed curry. And the um, tool I'm using is one of our blender brushes. So if you've never used these, they are amazingly soft and give you just the coolest, um, coolest technique. So it's going to be dark at the bottom and fading up to light. So pretty. And don't worry about getting the color totally smooth because the sky is not totally smooth either, is it? It has vapors and clouds and mists and stuff so you just do your sky like you want to do it and be aware that any little mess ups like here i got a little too much ink here that's going to be so camouflaged by our silhouette stamping that i wouldn't worry about that at all okay next thing i've got is my tall echinacea flowers or cone flowers they're also called and i'm going to be using black ink inked up good and that's my main image so I'm going to put a nice forefront on here oh dear my phone is ringing um decline there we go sorry about that I'm busy stamping with my friends you're gonna have to wait um and then I'm going to add some of these which I understand are chicory blossoms oh somebody really wants me here all right, so that's what this look, the stamps look like if we don't do anything else. And I'm going to take a black Sharpie then and color 
So, yep, we're coloring today. Color in that image. You know what? I may have to uh, stop and answer the phone, which would be very awkward, but I promise I would come right back. There we go. But you can see I'm turning this image into a silhouette and it doesn't take very long. Um, just be careful that you don't pick anything that's super, super detailed. Oh, and look, I messed up. Okay. So here I got a tiny bit of Sharpie on the side. So I'm just going to thicken my silhouette a little bit and nobody will ever know that that wasn't part of the original image. Same thing here. Okay, so that's all there is to it, and it looks so cool, and you will get extra use out of your stamps um, by turning them into silhouettes like that. Isn't that fun? All right, let's do some more, shall we? Okay, let's talk about this background. This is uh, the same sort of principle. It's a silhouette stamp. I used um, die cuts from the Nature's Harvest bundle over my background. So let's work on that background. I don't have a piece that's the right size, but we'll use this piece. Oh, it's so close to the right size. I'm going to show you a quick trick for putting down these die cuts too. Um, but first, let's do our background. Getting ahead of myself. Okay, I'm going to start with my darkest color, which is Rich Razzleberry. Whoa, okay, very dark. That's what happens when <laughs> you don't start off the paper and move on to the cardstock. Okay, so let's try those again. So here's my ink. I'm starting off and moving on. There we go. So that the big bulgy ink that we got fresh off the pad is very light. So pretty. And I'm bringing this up about, oh, uh, not quite halfway, because we're going to grab the crushed curry then. And remember, start off and move on. Oh, so pretty. All right, so then we bring that into the... Um, raspberry here and start getting some beautiful orange. Oh, I did it, didn't I? I'm having an off day. We'll cover that with this sentiment anyway, right? So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to bring my yellow up to within about an inch of the top. And that way, when I come in with my balmy blue, I'll have plenty of space to bring in that green where the yellow and the blue meet. Oh, it's so pretty. It really turns into a rainbow. So we just used three colors of ink, but we got five different shades on our piece here. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so that's our background. And you, you're going to want to prepare your table because this is a messy, <laughs> messy technique. All right, so I have the dies here. And there's different different flowers, the coneflower, the chicory. This looks like wheat or some kind of decorative grass. Um, I'll give you a hint about putting these on. I like to attach them with glue dots, which is great when there's, um, a flower or something you can stick the glue dot behind, right? But what do you do with these long, skinny stems? Oh, so pretty. Well, here's a tip for you. I put, I hope you can see this, a frame around my silhouette. It's actually a die cut, which I made from two stitched rectangles dies. And it lays right over the top of my paper and then I trim off the excess. So I can use a little piece of tape down here to hold my flower stems in place. 
and then just trim that off or fold it under. And I don't have to worry about gluing down those little stems because my frame is going to go right over the top. Like that. Okay, so that's how I did this card. Very simple, really. Very little um, stamping, just one sentiment, some ink, and the silhouettes cut out on your stamp and cut and emboss. All right, and now we're going to talk about the Halloween card. This one's kind of fun. It has a little bit of a fancy fold. So to make that, you start with a quarter sheet of cardstock, which is um, eight and a half by 11, cut in half vertically and horizontally. So you're just taking out one corner there. And then this piece is um, 11 inches tall by three and a quarter wide like that and then you'll need two pieces of three inches by five and a quarter to go inside okay so we're doing the same type of background and this one you can make spooky and messy and um, splotchy because it's supposed to be spooky and messy and splotchy right and then this is also from the nature's harvest bundle just like that and it looks like spooky bear branches all right and then we glue that on here and then like I said I didn't actually have any Halloween stamp sets and so I looked around at what I had and I found this from the stamp set flowers of friendship it says life is better with friends like you and anytime you have the word you you can replace it with the word boo <laughs> so I have life is better with friends like boo <laughs> and I did the circle punch to kind of resemble the moon and I stuck that down before I put my branches on so I could have the branch overlapping it a little bit so it would look spooky if you had like a bat punch or I don't know a spider you could draw a little spider hanging down there that would even more play up the Halloween but as it is I've got a perfectly acceptable Halloween card with no um, Halloween sentiments. So I do have to put a shout out for my favorite alphabet dies. These are the playful alphabet dies and it's the entire alphabet plus duplicates plus numbers. So it's super handy and it is sized just perfectly for cards, but also large enough that you can use for scrapbooking. So this little doodrabby gets a lot of use at my house. Okay, that's what I had to show you today. I hope you've enjoyed this little quick primer on um, backgrounds that you can make with the blender brushes and how to turn stamps from line art into silhouette. And I have lots more tips to show you, so make sure you are a follower of Song of My Heart Studios on Facebook. And don't forget about the big stamp sale today. It's all clean rubber stamps. Um, not photopolymer, but cling rubber, and you can check out all the details at lissa.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching, guys.